Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel of DCC NIT Agatala and today we are going to discuss problem bit play if you haven't read the question I will just explain you it once so you have been given a binary string S which only consists of ones and zeros and you have been told that chef has an operation string O let's say O1, O2, O3 up till ON and he can only perform three types of operation first one is bitwise AND, bitwise OR or bitwise ZOR if you don't know what are these so just see its definition and then try to attempt this problem or else you can continue so uh, you just basically have to satisfy these uh, these operations so you can observe uh, if this is index n then you have to find such operation that if we perform that operation between index n minus 2 and index n minus 1 then it should satisfy this condition so basically let's say our s3 is bit and our s1 is bit 1 and there is uh, you have to perform some operation and then your s2 is bit 2 so basically this is ith index this is i minus 2 index and this is i minus 1 index so you just have to find this um these operations and you need to find uh number of strings that can be possible so that these all operation will be satisfied so this is purely implementation based problem so and you don't have to find any such uh, way or something you just have to implement this uh, so let's directly jump into the code and i will explain you while uh, showing the code so basically there are some uh, you just have to make some cases for example uh, first of all i will start my uh, loop from i is equal to 3 because as you can see here uh, from third operation third operation you have to do so and i will move the and i will iterate as i plus 2 so yeah and my index is zero base indexing so i will uh, if i want i minus 2 index so i will do i minus 3 here so ho hopefully there will be no confusion for you so yeah i just stored my ith index in bit uh, i minus 2 index in bit 2 and i minus 3 index in bit 1 so basically this is nothing but this only so there are few conditions like let's say our bit 1 operation bit 2 uh, bit let's say our bit 1 is not equal to bit 2 for example our bit 1 can be 1 and bit 2 can be 0 and let's say our first case is bit is equal to 1 only so how many operations you can do here so let's say uh, you know 1 or 0 will give 1 and the second kind of operation is you know 1 or 0 is also 1 so basically if the both bit 1 and bit 2 are different and you know bit is equal to 1 so you will just push back two operations so I made this array where you will push back the answer <laughs> So I will just push two operations or else if bit is equal to zero and bit one and bit two are different. So like bit one and bit two are different here and bit is equal to zero. So the only operation you can perform here is and operation. So I will just push back one over there. And let's move on to our second case. Uh, let's move on to our second case where uh, now the case where bit 1 and bit 2 are different is over so we will move where bit 1 and bit 2 are same and let's say our bit 1 is 1 and bit 2 is also 1 bit 2 is also 1 and then we will check if bit is 1 well then how many operations you can perform if bit 1 is 1 and bit 2 is 1 and bit is also 1 how many operations you can perform you can perform and operation you can also perform OR operation but you cannot perform ZOR operation as in ZOR operation both should be different to make it one so yes then again I will push back two here uh, or else I will push back one and in si similarly for you can do same thing for zero if bit one is zero and and bit two is zero and you need to check what if how many operation will be needed if bit is one so if bit one is zero and bit 2 is 0 and uh, bit is 1 so there are no possible uh, you can try or 
or you can try sour or you can try and there is no possible way to make it one so i will just push back zero over here or else or else if it's zero then you can perform all of the three operations so i will push back three and my answer will be just multiplication of all of them because uh, you need to find the uh, total number of possible strings so yeah you can just multiply all of them to get the answer also make sure that you take the modulo 29 plus 29 plus 7 so that your answer won't overflow so that's basically the problem uh, yeah purely implementation problem so that's it thank you, you